What is up, guys? Welcome back to another mock draft video here on the Fantasy Fellowship channel. My name is Kyle. In this video, we got a request, so we're going to be doing this one. Um, I'm going to pull up the screen share here and show you guys what we're looking at. I'm doing this mock draft on Sleeper. Uh, I did get a comment here from Gail Byrne, 6811, saying, would love to see a second pick, 10-team, full PPR, one QB, two running backs, three wide receivers. Uh, and then I got Edgar Soto in here saying exact same format we use in my league. Uh, and my the only thing that I couldn't do is they asked for it on Yahoo, but I couldn't figure out a way to mock draft full PPR on Yahoo. I could only find uh, half PPR uh, available lobbies here. So I'm going to do it on Sleeper. But either way, this draft is for you guys, Edgar Soto and uh, Gail Byrne here, 6811. So I'm going to be drafting from the second pick today, 10 team full PPR. Uh, and then uh, I didn't see anything about a flex position in there. Uh, but I got all the settings here. Um, so I just, I added one flex and basically this, this player, if, if that's not, if you don't have a flex, that's fine. I'm still going to draft with it in there, but you see the two running backs, the three receivers, the tight end uh, defense. I mean, I could add a kicker in here, but to be honest, when the, when you get into these mock drafts, I don't like to include defense and kicker because it, it kind of makes the rest of the draft. Th those get auto picked pretty highly. So I just want to focus purely on the main important positions we can talk defense and kicker if you guys want, but uh, I'm going to just customize this mock draft. Let's claim pick two, and uh, let's get into it. I'm going to hit start here. With the second overall pick in a full PPR mock draft, ooh, they put Jamar Chase here. So uh, if you are lucky enough to be picking number two and Jamar Chase goes number one, grab Justin Jefferson. I think either way for this mock draft exercise, I was going to take Jamar Chase. He was, he was the number one player for me at number two and uh, he was the thumbnail of this video so let's just wave the magic wand pretend we have jamar chase here that's who i want at pick two so i'm going to click jj to just keep the board honest uh but that's how i'm going to start this 10 team ppr mock draft uh cmc eckler kelsey tyreek cup aj brown Bijan robinson and cd lamb go uh, at the end of the first round and we're moving around here. Hopefully we can get a running back to fall to us because I think we need one for sure with one of these picks. And guess what? We get a bunch of really good receivers here. We get my favorite second round running back and my favorite second round wide receiver to fall to us. And in a full PPR league, to me, it's Amon Ross St. Brown. I think he's a top five receiver in fantasy football this year if everything shakes out right for him. Um, so I'm going to collect Amon Ross St. Brown. I think he's my wide receiver five in my projections. I mean, after Tyreek and Cup, I think Amon Ross St. Brown's in the conversation with these guys right here. He's going over 100 targets. He's the clear leading receiver on his team, and Jared Goff's going to pummel him with targets. The dude got tackled inside the one or two yard line like six or seven times last year, so he could have a double digit touchdown season. Camp reviews are all there for Amon Ross St. Brown here, so he's the pick here for me. Wilson and, and Jalen Waddle are, are good consolation prizes, but if you get up to pick and, and Amon Ross on the board here, you have to do it. Uh, and then Jacobs and Jalen Waddle go. I could double down, I guess triple down at wide receiver here because we are starting three of them. But I'm going to wait because you don't get Tony Pollard to fall to the third round very often. He's going as one running back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. RB8 off the board. And guess what? The dude was RB9 last year in full PPR league. And now he gets all those Ezekiel Elliott touch, touches available, touchdowns, carries, receptions. It's all there for Tony Pollard. I think he's my favorite running back to draft right now. Uh, and to be honest, I don't see that much of a difference with, I mean, I'm taking Pollard over Jacobs, Henry maybe even Chubb over Jonathan Taylor for sure. But I think he's just as good as Saquon Barkley, if not better. Um, so I'm locking that in. We got Pollard, Jamar Chase, Amon Ross St. Brown to start our draft. Uh, after I take Pollard, you see Mark, Garrett Wilson, Jalen Hurts, Olave, Higgins, Brees, Ramondre, and Devonta Smith. Now entering the fourth round, we get a nice little run of running backs. I love Jameer Gibbs, Aaron Jones. Those are two of my favorite running backs in the fourth round. ETN, I'm not too high on. Joe Burrow, DK Metcalf, Najee, Alvin Kamara at round four just seems a little weird with this three-game suspension, and then Debo. Now we're up to pick again. Um, if you wanted a QB here, I don't hate grabbing Lamar Jackson. Uh, I, I do think my preferred strategy in a one QB league is waiting for QB because I can wait. So like 346 projected points for Lamar, 339 for Justin Fields. Uh, but I can get one of these guys that's projected around 300 points, and I'm not losing too many points per game on that. So I'm going to wait on QB. That's my preferred strategy in a one QB league, especially a 10 QB league. I just want to be the last guy to take a QB, and I can take two of them and play the matchups. 
So I'm back up to pick here. Uh, I do like Kenneth Walker, not so much in a full PPR league, but I get it. He's, he's a really good player. I really like Damian Pierce. I think I'm going to lock Damian P Pierce in here at 5.2 as my RB2. Uh, let's, so let's look at the receivers. Keenan Allen, Calvin Ridley, Amari Cooper, DeAndre Hopkins. I think those are all great picks here. I don't want to grab a tight end yet. So at this point, I think if, if you're putting down what uh, what I'm saying here, I, I really like Damian Pierce as my RB2. You can see his projections are right here with these guys. Uh, I think he's going to get the ball a ton. He's going to get a lot of opportunity. He's going to be a good receiving back this year, better than people think. Um, so I want Pierce at 5.2. Uh, hopefully this guy doesn't take him. Uh, but to get Keenan Allen, the number one receiver on the Chargers, or Calvin Ridley, I think those are your two picks. If you're nervous about Calvin, or if you're nervous about Keenan Allen coming back from health, uh, and just being, you know, kind of labeled as injury prone, take Calvin Ridley. If you're nervous about Ridley coming back in his first year, competing with, you know, Kirk and some of the other guys for targets, take one of these two guys. I think they stick out. I'm going to take Keenan Allen to be my three because I think he's a PPR stud. Uh, and then guess what? We get Ridley to fall to us. We could just double down here. But uh, again, you mentioned two running backs and three wide receivers, and you didn't say anything about a flex. So I'm going to pause on that. I'm going to fill that RB2 spot with Damian Pierce, who. In a full PPR league, guys, I have Damian Pierce as like RB12. I, I'm pretty high on Damian Pierce. I think he looks great as your running back, too. So now we have that well-balanced two running backs, three stud wide receivers start. We're looking pretty good here. Let me recap here. After I take Pierce, you got Ridley, Mixon, Hopkins, two tight ends, and Kittle and Hawkinson. Bunch of receivers here go. McLaurin, Watson, DJ Moore, Dobbins, Judy, Godwin. There's Miles Sanders. We got some QBs coming off the board. Jay Fields and Justin Herbert, Amari Cooper, James Conner. We're back up to pick here, and I'll be honest, none of these running backs really stick out to me here. Drake London sticks out as a really good bench receiver option for us. I really like Dallas Goddard. I think that's probably my pick here because uh, I, I could take basically I like Goddard and I like Darren Waller. Those are two of my favorite tight ends. And uh, if we fill a starting spot of need, that is great too. I also really like Brandon Ayuk. I like Drake London. Like these guys are all really solid wide receiver threes. If I wanted to grab Trevor Lawrence here, I totally could. Uh, and then let's just double check the running backs. Madison Swift, Akers, Dalvin Cook. None of these guys really excite me. I think we might kind of come back to that position here. But because we start three wide receivers, I want to have one more in my back pocket and just be extra deep there. So let's grab your favorite wide receiver here, whether it's London, Ayuk, Pittman, Brandon Ayuk's been the talk of 49ers camp. I think he's an absolute baller. I, I think I'm going to take Brandon Ayuk here and just see what happens. I can call him up if Keenan gets hurt or whoever, but I'm going to lean into that because the camp notes uh, out of San Francisco are, are that Brandon Ayuk's about to take flight. So I like him a lot. Tight end now is probably the best pick here. I'm going to go with Dallas Goddard to get some exposure to that Philadelphia Eagles passing offense. I think Goddard and Waller are my two favorite tight ends to draft this year. So if you want to take Waller here over Goddard, please do so. Waller's the lead tight end and he's the leading receiver for the Giants. I just think being attached to Jalen Hurts excites me a little bit more. You also have injury concerns with Darren Waller. Take your favorite tight end here. doesn't matter. Even if it's Kyle Pitts, I think it doesn't matter. But in a 10-team league, I want to make sure I get a decent tight end. And these are the last three of like the top five potential tight ends. So I'm going to grab uh, Mr. Goddard here and we have our starting lineup pretty much set. We'll wait for QB. We'll see what running backs come back to us because now we have one bench receiver need some more bench pieces. So we'll see what running backs fall to us here. Uh, but Deandre Swift, Pitts, Kirk, Akers, Pacheco, Dalvin Cook, Tyler Lockett, Trevor Lawrence end around seven beginning of the eighth round is Waller. And then a bunch of receivers here, Pittman, Brown, Cooks, Rashad White, Mike Williams, which I love. Mike Evans, JSN, and guess what? We're back on the clock, and we get some of my favorite picks available here. I like Javante Williams. I'm just pumping the brakes on drafting these uh, these running backs off of serious knee injuries. Uh, so to me, I want to grab one of these receivers. Um, I really want Montgomery and Deontay Johnson here. So I'm going to take the guy that's higher in ADP and hope this guy doesn't take a running back here. We'll see what he does. He's already got three. So I'm going to take Deontay to be my wide receiver five. That gives us really good competition at the wide receiver spot. And David Montgomery goes. So we miss out on the stud running back that I wanted here. That's okay. I'm going to find another one for us. If Montgomery was here, he would be the pick in hindsight. If I could redo it, maybe Deontay falls. I'm not sure. I mean, this guy's got five RBs now, so he's kind of weird. But uh, either way, Pickens, Ingram, Najok, or Fryermuth. I like Addison a lot, but we need that running back. So I'm going to grab James Cook. He is the ideal PPR running back three for your fantasy rosters. Because I think he's going to end up finishing as a top 20, top 24 back. 
elite pass catching option. If he gets, you know, 150, 170 carries this year, he's going to blow ADP off the doors. So we'll grab James Cook as our running back three. He could compete with Damian Pierce as our running back two, but we're locked in with Pollard. And that's been one of my favorite strategies. I like locking in one of those stud running back ones and then finding a, a, a duo or trio that can rotate at running back three. Uh, I'm not going to recap all, all the stuff that just happened here, but you guys can look at that for yourself. We're back on the board here. We need a QB. Deshaun, Tua, Anthony Richardson's are still on the board. Uh, to be honest, I don't, I don't hate Deshaun Watson here. I know he's morally not the best person in the world, but uh, we waited on QB and we got Deshaun Watson to fall to us, which feels pretty stupid to me. So he would be my pick. None of the running backs stick out here. These guys are all just depth pieces. Uh, I do like these guys quite a bit, uh, but let's go ahead and grab Deshaun Watson to be our QB one. I just, I think the Browns are going to throw the ball a lot and they're going to be an impressive offense. Let's look at the running backs. Again, none of these guys really impressed me. We can get some, we can get some bangers later. Um, wide receiver, we could just we can tackle on Elijah Moore here and be done at wide receiver. We have the Elijah Watson stack. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Elijah Moore here. Uh, and then I got maybe one more surprise or two for you guys in this draft, depending on if he falls or not. But uh, and he doesn't. I was I was gonna take Anthony Richardson to be my QB two, uh, because I mentioned I like waiting for QB and grabbing two of them. Anthony Richardson is the ideal QB2 for you. If you wait on QB, grab your favorite one, Dak, Tua, Gino, Watson, who cares? But Anthony Richardson is a baller. Uh, he's going to run the ball a lot this year. Uh, but guess what? We waited. I mean, we got Daniel Jones, Jared Goff. I'll take Jared Goff as my QB2. I have him paired with Amon Ross St. Brown. I'm going to collect him. And then guess what? I'm done at the position. I can play matchups. I can rotate these guys. Uh, and our quarterback's done. We got six really good wide receivers. We got two more picks left here. Let's make him some running backs. And I'm looking around here. I want to get the rookie running back for Jacksonville, and that's Tank Bigsby. So I'm going to click on him. And again, I have Pollard, Pierce, and James Cook. Those three guys should be enough to get me through most of my season. If injuries happen, of course, I can pull the other one up. Uh, and then the other thing, too, is you want to be very active on the waiver wire with running backs. So continue to load up the back end of your draft with running backs. Now, I could take... Raheem Mostert, who's a starter for the Dolphins. I don't feel great about it, uh, but I'm going to take Jalen Warren, who I think is a really good talent for Pittsburgh. If anything happens to Najee Harris, we got a league winning pick and uh, Jalen Warren's going to get base work in this offense. He could be a low end RB2 flex play. So that's how I'm going to finish this draft. And uh, let's recap it. We started off with Jamar Chase and Amon Ross St. Brown, two stud wide receivers. Both top five receivers in my projections, by the way. I got Tony Pollard, who's a top five running back for me. Keenan Allen, who's a solid wide receiver too, but we get him to put it as our wide receiver three. We have Damian Pierce as our running back two. Brandon Ayuk off the bench. Dallas Goddard locked and loaded as our tight end one. Uh, last year before Goddard's injury, he was second in the league in tight end yards. So he could be a top three tight end this year if touchdowns roll his way. Deontay Johnson, just a PPR stud. James Cook, our third best running back. He could rotate with Damian Pierce at RB3 or RB2. We got Deshaun Watson paired with Elijah Moore, which is just a fun little stack. We got Jared Goff paired with Amon Ross St. Brown, another fun stack. And then we got two high-end high, high, high end, uh, running back handcuff picks with Bigsby and Jalen Moore. And both those guys could be league winners if their starter goes down. So there you go. Just a quick mock draft for you guys on Sleeper. Again, I, I'd love to do this on Yahoo, but they just didn't have the full PPR option available. So I did it on Sleeper. If you guys have any suggestions or, or, or want a different mock draft, please let me know in the comments. I could totally do so. But yeah, I think my strategy, pick two in a 10-man league, take those receivers to start your draft. That's where they fell. If you can get Tony Pollard in the third round, I think you're looking pretty, pretty good. Uh, and then again, I like to wait for QB. Uh, I'm looking for Darren Waller or Dallas Goddard as my worst tight end. Uh, and then do the two QB thing, man. Go get Anthony Richardson as your two. Get your favorite QB one, uh, that kind of stuff here. So let me know if you have questions below. Thank you guys for your time. And uh, yeah, if you guys have a mock draft request, let me know what, what app it's on. ESPN, Yahoo, Sleeper, CBS, whatever. Uh, let me know how many teams. Let me know what draft pick you want. And then if it's full PPR, half PPR standard. Thanks, guys. Peace.